Hello and welcome. This series of workshops is made possible by a researcher-led initiative award funded by the University of Exeter's Research Development and Research Culture team. The workshop was developed to bring together early career researchers from across disciplines who believe distance-based options are essential for inclusivity in higher education. We hope to create a network of peers with a shared interest in teaching and developing distance-based courses and in exploring the best practices for accommodating remote students, mentees and colleagues. Our goal is to both raise awareness of how distance-based options are essential to inclusivity and to learn how to implement these best practices. We hope to achieve this via this interactive workshop series and by also building a community for continued collaboration and peer support. We, the organizers, myself, Chris, Ben and Sarah, we all have experience of and have benefited from distance-based education and working practices. So this project is more about learning together and learning from each other rather than simply imparting any special knowledge. Our guest speakers have taught and developed vocational courses, established distance-based university courses, and mentored distance-based students from a variety of backgrounds. We hope you can learn from them, but we also want to open the space up for you to share your own experiences and challenges. Each workshop session will conclude with a roundtable discussion intended to stimulate ongoing discourse. So these won't be recorded and we encourage you to join the discussions or share your stories via the interactive board. A keynote for the final workshop, Professor Sam Hun has developed um, postgraduate modules and courses that were established um, pre-pandemic. These include the MA and PhD in Amphrozoology here at Exeter, which are both entirely um, distance based. The only other distance based course currently offered by Exeter is the MA in Education. Um, but PhD researchers from other disciplines are also enrolled as distance-based um, or predominantly work from home or away for extensive periods of field work. Although our focus here is primarily on graduate education and research, undergraduate and vocational students could also benefit from the option of not needing to physically be on campus at specific times of the day. And this is a barrier to many non-traditional students or those from lower income backgrounds, as well as those with physical or health challenges or those who have families or caring duties. However, the distance-based model allows people to remain at home and even continue working to support themselves or their families while embarking on higher or graduate education opportunities. I have encountered some pushback when I promote or advocate for distance-based options. And I do get it. I do appreciate that for many people, the in-person experience is invaluable, especially for young people wanting to live away from home for the first time. And for fully funded PhD students too, um, who do not have health challenges, caring duties or family commitments that make relocation unfeasible, I would not want to deny them that special experience of full immersion in scholarly life. However, with a bit of effort, the traditional student and postgraduate experiences could exist alongside remote options. This would make it possible for non-traditional students, those who for whatever reason cannot relocate or attend classes in person, to engage with and contribute to academia. So please use the link to introduce yourselves and feel free to write a few sentences or a paragraph about your experiences and or why you believe distance-based options are important.